We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so a lot of you guys wanted me to come on here and talk about the whole Yandy Smith situation. So if you guys don't know, over the weekend there was a huge rally in Brooklyn, New York, and I have been seeing posts about it on social media. A lot of people were promoting it, like my son and Cardi B. And so Yandy Smith was one of the reality TV stars that went down there to help protest. And what happened is that basically a video went viral on social media. I don't know how the video got out, but you see some guys in jail in Brooklyn. And basically they're saying that the heat has been cut off. For some reason the AC is running. These guys are freezing. They're wrapped up like the Taliban. They have towels on their heads and you know they're just trying to do anything to keep warm. And they're in this you know super cold cell. The toilets aren't working. So this video went viral and a lot of folks were really upset. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Oh, that's how cold it is. The AC on, with the shutdown, the AC on, but they can't put the heat on. No, no nigga, walking around with this shit all crazy. Niggas are sick walking around with colds and shit. They shut us down when they want, lock us out when they want. My toilet don't even work. The toilet is on the outside world. It's cold, it's freezing in here. ASPCA treat the pit bulls better yeah. than we get treated. Cruelty, but they, they treat the humans but worse than animals. Sick and all cold. It's crazy. Take a look outside. Everybody cold. Everybody, Everybody wrapped cold. up. The confrontation between them and the guards was very tense as they demanded answers as to why this building did not have heat in the basic necessities. That's after it fired, by the way, knocked out the electrical system last Sunday. Now, hey, at times, you hear the inmates banging on the cell windows using pots, pads, and flashlights. And protesters, however, words were heard. The mayor's office dropped off blankets and hand warmers. Local lawmakers toured the building and met with a warden who actually, they say... All right, so you guys just saw the viral video. So once that went viral, um, Yandy Smith took to social media and this is what she said. She says, this is a violation. These are our sons, our fathers, our brothers. How can we sit back and let them kill them? Please, if you're in Brooklyn or any NYC borough, come out and fight with us. This is unacceptable. The address is on my last post. I'm sorry, brothers. Keep the videos coming. I will continue to expose this travesty. So then, um, you know, they rallied people up. People went down to Brooklyn and they were out there protesting. They were very, very upset about everything that was going on. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys some more stuff that Gandhi wrote. She says, at a federal jail right here in Brooklyn, where the temperatures are below freezing, the heat and electricity have been turned off since Monday. 1,600 humans are here. That's them right now banging and making noise so people on the outside can hear them. Men and women are getting sick and are freezing. The only thing working since Monday are the small emergency lights. This is gross human abuse. One guard just told me he took the temperature inside and that it was 33 degrees in there. Hashtag Occupy for Humanity at Sean King at Shave Room. Incarcerated individuals have rights too. Then she says, to be clear, this is a detention center. Most of the people here have not been convicted of a crime and are waiting for trial. Some people are here for traffic warrants. Not that that matters because even if they're in jail or prison, they still deserve to be treated like human beings. That's for all the ignorant people in the comments. Furthermore, hashtag this is America. Then she says, join us now in solidarity. Our incarcerated family at 12 p.m. until there is heat. And that's at the Brooklyn uh, Detention Center. So Yandy went down there with her whole crew. And then she proceeds to write this. I'm freezing, but they are in there dying. Inmates in Brooklyn are being denied their basic human rights. The lights are shut off. The toilets are shut off. There's no hot water and blankets have been refused and turned away by Warden Quay. I'm at the Federal Detention Center right here in Brooklyn where the temperatures are below freezing. And the heat and electricity have been turned off since Monday. Day. 1600 humans are there so then while she was down there mayor Bellasio he sent out this tweet he says New York City is sending trucks with hundreds of blankets and hand warmers to the Metropolitan Detention Center now and generators will be ready for transport we've told the Federal Bureau of Prisons that the supplies are coming whether they like it or not so Yandy updates and she says update lie 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 the inmates said they have not received anything that was delivered Good start. Occupy the streets until they have heat. 
Occupy for Humanity. I'll let y'all know when and if it gets here. So at that point, it started getting crazy. They decided to rush into the jail and, you know, some police officer grabbed Jandy, you know, uh, pepper sprayed her in the face and threw her to the ground. And you can see her screaming and crying like this was just a crazy scene. And they're trying to, you know, clean her eyes out. Now, I want you guys to go ahead and watch all these videos. I'm going to go ahead and put them together. Check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. So we decided to walk around the building so they don't know we're here for them. We love them. We got you. We got you. We got you. If your toilets are working, beg. Silence. Silence. If you had your visit this weekend, beg. One person had a visit. How many of them in there? Because he's begging. That is unacceptable. It's a problem. Now let me ask the question in reverse. If you have not received the blankets sent, bang! You see that? Unacceptable. Unacceptable. They did not get the blankets. Who got the blankets? Wait, who got the blankets? Wait, who got the blankets? We're not leaving, man. Is that right, bro? We'll be here all night. Tomorrow okay. night. Yo, yeah. Tom, we need pressure on the, on the mayor. Back. Someone needs to somebody like, tell a man that this is office? inhumane. Let him know These brothers are banging on the window. You hear them? Tamika is on it. Yo, the brothers are banging down. all over the windows. They have no heat, no hot water, no electricity. It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Everybody repost this, retweet it. Tweet out to the mayor. Tweet out to the governor. Tweet out to everybody. I just got pepper sprayed and thrown on the floor. Come on, I gotta help you while you're just asking for listen to fear. You gotta listen to human rights for these people. Roll it off My eyes are on fire. Okay. Come on, I couldn't breathe. Do it, do it. Just do what I say. Just do what I say. And y'all know I'm not violent. Y'all know I'm not violent. I did not do anything wrong. I just asked, why don't they have heat? I got pepper sprayed and I got thrown on the floor. Come on, I'm sorry. I'm doing while she's, her eyes are burning. Y'all saw what happened. Y'all saw it's just asking. 
And this is what happens when you just ask the basic questions. My eyes are on fire right now. So this is the... All right, so you guys just saw the videos of Yandy. So after her video went viral of her being pepper sprayed and going through everything, they eventually were able to get the lights turned back on in the building and the heat was reinstated. We did it, Thank you, God. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank you, Lord. We did it. Thank you, Jesus. We did it. Thank you, Lord. The lights are on. Thank we you. did it. So, you know, while people were sitting there clowning her, making fun of her, saying that she's just doing this because her man's in prison. And, you know, at the end of the day, who cares? Who cares why she's doing it? She, she's still doing something that's selfless. And she's doing a lot more than most of y'all who just sit around and just hashtag shit all day when y'all really are not out in the streets putting in work. So I respect Yandy. And I've met Yandy. You guys know that. I met her at the Million Man March. You know, Yandy really does stuff in the community. She's just not out here running her mouth. She's actually using her platform as ratchet as loving hip-hop is she's actually using that platform you know what i'm saying for good things in new york city so much respect to yandy you know getting pepper sprayed in the faces and no joke you know i've had to deal with pepper spray coming out the club because you know guys were fighting or it's a bunch of mess and then you end up walking into this cloud of pepper spray and you're choking and you can't see it's a horrible feeling so imagine getting just sprayed dead in your face i could only imagine what she was going through so i definitely feel bad for her but i'm glad she's okay you know people are clowning her you know on different websites you know at the end of the day she's out there doing something she's out there actually making moves and y'all can say she's just doing it for attention she's just doing it for show at the end of the day she's doing something she's actually making a difference because of her protesting because of her video going viral she didn't ask to be pepper sprayed because of all that stuff combined they were able to get heat back up in those jails and i know a lot of y'all have the mentality well they're criminals who cares you know at the end of the day this is a jail so like we learned when i did that live stream everybody who's in jail is not necessarily a criminal some people have just simply been accused of a crime and they haven't gotten their day in court and that's why they're there does that mean that they deserve to freeze to death because they're in jail no they should have at least basic human rights and trust and believe that this was an animal shelter and people find out that there were dogs and cats in an animal shelter freezing you know what i'm saying getting sick not being properly cared for folks would go crazy they would be in the streets rioting. But because it's a lot of minorities who are in jail, it's like, oh, well, they committed the crime. Who cares if they freeze? No, that's not okay. Because like I told you guys a few days ago, a lot of us in the Midwest and on the East Coast have been dealing with the polar uh, vortex. And, you know, the temperatures have been some of the coldest temperatures in 150 years, okay? Here in Minneapolis, it got down to negative 29. So I could only imagine how cold it was in those jails. I don't think New York got as cold as Minneapolis, but let's even say it was negative one. As you guys all know, jails are basically made of like metal and steel. So all that just absorbs the cold. You can't lean against the wall. You can't lay on the bed because the bed is metal. I could just imagine all the suffering that people are, you know, were going through in there. So thank goodness that she decided to do this. She brought attention to it. I had no idea this was going on until I had started seeing people posting about the rally. And then, you know, I was keeping up with the rally. And then when she got pepper sprayed, that went totally viral. So I'm glad, even though it, it was messed up that she got pepper sprayed, I I'm glad that even in that situation, it caused the situation to go more viral and it brought more attention to everything. And hopefully, you know, they will go in and fix some of these issues because, again, at the end of the day, they all deserve to have basic human rights. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Yandy Smith and the protest that she helped to lead in Brooklyn for the Brooklyn Detention Center. How do you guys feel about what was going on with the heat being cut off and inmates not having? blankets um and then how do you guys feel about the protest in general and how do you feel about what happened to yandy smith so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.